What up, P? What's up, B? Y'all ready? Are we about to get into it? All right, I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, see you in fall. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Boys. The first move that we'll be doing is the translation of three units. We will line up in the formation of a triangle and then hop to each point of the triangle to represent the translation. So five, six, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> The next move that we'll be demonstrating is a line of symmetry. I will represent the line of symmetry by falling back, showing the cut in the triangle, and showing that each side is still equal. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so in the next move, we'll be demonstrating the dilation of one third. And basically, we have three of the same shape, but in various sizes. And of course, that's the definition of dilation. So five, six, Five, six, seven, eight. Next move we will be demonstrating is dilation two. Each student will start out, start out on their knees in the same shape, but at the end they'll hop up and maintain the same position but increasing their size. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, That's what we'll be demonstrating is rotation by the plane. In this move, one student, sharp power, will back and that's a pivot, the other two will rotate around him. Of course, they're giving us a rotation by the point. And five, six, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, kick, 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 kick. In this move, we'll be demonstrating something uh, 70 degrees clockwise. And in this move, we'll basically show you Shaw being the pivot, an angle going from zero degrees to 70 and back. All right, so five, six, 
Likewise, with the 70 degrees clockwise, we'll be demonstrating for you a 135 degree rotation in this step. Shaw being our pivot, we'll be there. We'll show you how we go from zero degrees to 135 degrees back to zero. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Two. The next move that we'll demonstrate is rotational symmetry. We will show that when you rotate a shape, such as the circle that we have here, when you cut it down the middle, the sides will still be symmetrical. So five, six, five, six, seven, eight. The next move that we will show is the double transformation. We will first dilate and then we will rotate. Five, six, seven, eight. Next dance move we'll be doing is a double translation. The students will take three steps back and three steps to the right. The next move is the reflection across the y axis where I fall onto my hands and the other two students prop their feet up against my back and perform a push up at the same time. Next move we'll be representing is a flexion across the X equals Y line, where three students line up, and I'm the student in the middle, and I'll and I represent the X equals Y line, and the two students on the side will lean against me. So, five, six, seven, eight. 